So, it's been four months since I did a Happy Meal unwrapping. Uh, I'm only filming this for December's unboxings and all that other stuff. But yes, um, this is actually, this is, oh, let me rephrase that. This is actually Marvel Studios, The Marvels, which recently just released in theaters like 11 days ago, which I heard the movie was pretty bad. But, uh, I just like collecting the Happy Meal toys, because the movie, I mm, wasn't really interested in it, except for the toys. So, we got toy number three. We did review and unwrapped toy one a few months back, and this is Marvel's Goose. So, let's go ahead, uh, because we already know what he's going to do. So, let's go ahead and get him out of the bag. So, here we go. Alrighty, guys, so let me remove move the camera this way. So, here he is, and if my camera would focus, look at this. Imagine if Garfield was a space cat, if he's from space. So, this is the gimmick. I know, so weird. Um, yes, he has the little base, too, where you connect with all the other ones, also. So, yeah, uh, this little Happy Meal toy is going to get a hundred of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, I'm back with another Happy Meal toy review. Not unwrapping, because, uh... I bought this one, too, from the thrift store the other day, just like the Goose Happy Meal toy that I unwrapped and reviewed yesterday morning. So, this is Toy for Princess Carol. Um, yes, it's just uh, Captain Marvel wearing a dress. But, again, like I said, I only unboxed the Happy Meal toys because... I heard, like, pretty bad reviews on the Marvels when it released in theaters two weeks ago. So, yep, uh, here's the stand. Uh, yes, I will show you guys the gimmick, like, right now, so give me a few minutes. Okay, this is her gimmick. She's like dancing, twirling, twir whatever you call the world word, dancing, twirling, and all of that. And every single time I look at the dress, it kind of gives me Wonder Woman vibes. I don't know. What do you guys think? And this review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like comment, subscribe, and before I end the video, uh, stay tuned for a plush video after this one, and after the plush video, stay tuned for a Burger King toy unwrapping, but anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So yep, doing another unboxing for December, um, yes, I bought this like four days ago on Amazon. Can't wait to see what it is. So, anyway, let's go ahead and be, get this out of the bag, shall we? Okay, so I got the Suicide Squad on Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital. Um, sadly, the digital code expired about a year ago, so what's the point of using a digital, a digital code that you can't even use anymore? So, Yep, here's the front, the side, the back, the side again, the front. Um, yes, um, only bought this for like $7.50. Well, I paid like an extra dollar on this movie, so let's go ahead and get it out of the unwrapping. So, here we go. 
Okay, guys. So, here's the DVD and Blu-ray. And, yes, that is the unboxing for the Suicide Squad. And this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. And, yes, it is raining outside. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. I am back for December's unboxing. Now, yes, I know y'all are going to wonder... When will the first December compilation video be out there? I don't know. I haven't decided that yet, but I'll get around to it. But yes, we are unboxing the DC, the McFarland Toys, DC Multiverse, the Suicide Squad, Build-A-Figure, Peacemaker, without the helmet on, or just the name, Unmasked. So, yep, uh, I think this is a Chase variant. Bought this from Amazon, and it was delivered at my house yesterday because I did not have time to unbox it. So, here's the figure inside. Here's the side. The back. Really nice pic picture of John Cena. And the side again. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what he looks like without the box. Without in the box. Out of the box, I mean. Got the figure out and the little axe, which I really don't get why he comes with an axe. So, yeah. Um, Wouldn't have been better if he had the little other one, because I know the other one comes with a sword, so yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get the base. Like the little displayed base and the arms and the card out first. And came along with Shark King Shark's arms. These was painful to get get out of the packaging. So yeah. Now let's see the card and the base to get out of the package. Okay, got the card out. Now, all we need is the base, so let's go. Okay, guys, so he comes with one, two, by the way, here's the base, three, four things, including a little collectible card. Now, here's the figure. Um, yep, what's really weird about this figurine, he doesn't have the, like, little... Stomach articulation, like the wrestling figures do. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the accessories, then the figure itself. So, here we go. And before we look at the little accessories that Peacemaker comes with, uh, yes, uh, Quan Chi's gameplay trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 shown today, and I did not expect. Peacemaker to be shown at the end of the gameplay trailer. So, here is the accessories, like I said, that Peacemaker comes with. It's the arms for King Shark. Um, they're really hard to move around. Like, no joke. Like, it's really a pain. Like I said, okay... This took me, like, five minutes to get out of the packaging. So, here's the little other arm. Now, let's look at the collectible card here. Let me just zoom in on that. Pretty nice picture of John Cena there. There's the bio. You guys want to re read that. And the base. And the axe, which I don't get why he has a pickaxe. So let's look at the figure itself. Alright guys, so here is Peacemaker unmasked out of the package. And yes, um, you can make him hold the axe too. Wish you could come on with the... 
other weapon. Not the sword. The sword is with him with the helmet on. But yep, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but uh, I'm not going to take the head off because I don't want to like break it. So here's the head. Um, some people said this was like the worst face scan of John Cena's uh, other figure. I don't know why. There's like literally nothing wrong with it. I don't know if it's because of the hair or whatever. But yeah. Um, anyway, guys, uh, this review is going to get 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another unboxing. Two of them. Well, the next one's going to be in the next video. So, yes, I forgot to tell you guys. From this little Peacemaker action figure unboxing I filmed last night. And uploaded it last night. I forgot to tell you I was doing an unboxing video today. Which, the Bleacher Creatures, I didn't even know they were being delivered today. I thought they were going to be delivered till tomorrow. But anyway, um, I got this from eBay like four days ago on the at the end of last month, which was four days ago. So, can't wait to see what it is. I think it was that, I think it was Here Comes the Pain. I only got the disc. Mostly the case. Yeah, see? Here's the case. And the disc. But anyway, guys, this unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, okay, so anyway, um, yes, I want to save this one the last. I mean, I don't know why I saved the last video, but. Stay tuned for the actual Bleacher Creature Cody Rhodes unboxing in the next video. But this one we are doing the another Coricha plush. This time it's going to be Randy Orton, the man who just signed to the SmackDown brand three days ago on SmackDown. So let's go ahead and get him out of the bag. Get him, I mean, out of the bag. So here we go. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So, yes, I'm not using this in a plush videos for the newer ones, like for the rest of 2023, nor the beginning of 2024. Uh, this is for display. Uh, sadly, the jacket is not removable. But let's go ahead and take the tags off of him and see what he looks like without the tags on. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So here's the tag. Here he is without the tag on. So here's the little s detail. So he only has like two logos. This one's the RKO and the Legend Killer logo. And, um, yep, yeah, first time I saw this, I, uh, had it on my wish list since, like, two weeks ago, and now I finally bought it, and yes, uh, again, um, some of y'all may know my birthday is coming up, so, uh, stay tuned for a plush video that day also, and one for tomorrow, so, anyway, guys, and December 8th, so... Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so I know y'all have been waiting for this moment. The 10-inch Cody Rose figure. Plushy figure. I don't know why I say 10-inch figure, because it's just a plushie. So, yep, here's the American Nightmare and Bleacher Creature form. 
And let me go get the other one that I did an unboxing on and reviewed over a year ago. So, here we go. Here's the Koricha Cuddy Rhodes one I reviewed a year ago. And here is the American Nightmare in Bleacher Creature form that I just ordered a few days ago. Which, I was supposed to unbox this three or four, well, mostly three months ago, but never got around to it. So, let's go ahead and get him out of the bag. In three, two, one. Okay, guys, so, here is the American Nightmare out of the bag. Um, his hair is kind of floppy. Um, he has the exact same attire on, just like this one does. And, well... This one's going to be for display, too, because never used this in a plus video. I was supposed to, but I never got around to it, so, yep. Let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what Cuddy Rhodes looks like without the tags on, shall we? Okay, guys, so before I took the, the, I didn't even took the other tag off yet. So here is the picture, the American Nightmare, Cuddy Rhodes. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to take the little hanger off. So be right back. Okay, guys. So, yep. Should I just leave his hair like how it is or. Okay. I'm going to leave it how it. I'm going to leave it like how it is. But here is the tags off of him. And this Bleacher Creature plushie is going to get 100 out of 100 for the review. But anyway, guys, um, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. Um, yes, I know uh, I did a unboxing like three days ago. One of them, okay, I am going to replace because it didn't work. So, yep, and y'all know I am talking about Here Comes the Pain. That is the 20-year-old WWE game that's expensive. So, but I got this from eBay. I actually bought this about Saturday of last week. But, uh, yes, um, it's not gonna be, like, WWE, My Little Pony, My Hero, or other anime-related. It's actually gonna be a Littlest Pet Shop-related. Yes, I know what Littlest Pet Shop is. They're also owned by Hasbro, just like My Little Pony, and, uh, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Marvel stuff for, like, Marvel movies and others but let's go ahead and get it out of the bag and see what it is so check this out it's a Zoe Trent plushie sadly no tag but yes first time I saw this character about 10 years ago a lot of people say she looks exactly like Twilight Sparkle because of the colors and all that but let's go ahead and get the her Get this out of the bag. Like, get Zoe out of the bag. And give it a review. So, here we go. So, here's, uh, here she is out of the bag. Pretty well detailed. And there's the little, like, tag right there. And, yes, this plushie was released about nine years ago. And this Plushy review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred, but stay tuned for another plushy review tomorrow. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yes, um, I haven't done a Mutant Mayhem plushy review since like three months ago, but. We're taking a look at Rock Steady. Um, 
Yes, I got this plushie for my John Cena collection. For, um, well, you know, because, um, some of y'all may know I am getting into collecting, like, Peacemaker merch, but, yes, I forgot John Cena is in the movie, voicing Rock City, so, yep, uh, here's the plushie itself, there's the tag, which, sadly, no, like, picture on the tag, but yep, let's go ahead and take the tag off Rock Study and review it. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so here is Rock Steady without the tag on, and yes, Mattel did make this one too. Pretty like I pretty like the pants. They actually reminds me of the the John Cena shorts where he wears camouflage shorts and he had and he got a little bracelet on and a gold tooth. But anyway guys, this plush review is gonna get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yes, I know I did, like, a like an unboxing video a few days in a row, but today is an unboxing day, so, which, this was supposed to be delivered at my house yesterday, but never got delivered. Um, pretty cool, um, bag right here. I mean... And, uh, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get this out and see what I got. So check this out. I got a Cutie Mark Crew Rainbow Dash Plush. Um, again, this was supposed to be delivered yesterday. And yes, this is, this is for plush videos. And let's go ahead and take the tag off. Okay, guys. So... Here's the tag, and yes, it's made by Toy Factory and Hasbro. You know, the toy company, like I said, that makes Transformers, G.I. Joe, My Little Pony, and Marvel stuff like uh, Spider-Man, Iron Man. So, here it is. Um, Sally, she does not have her cutie mark there, but anyway, this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, but before, like I said, I end the video, this is for a plush skid, but anyway, like, comment, subscribe. So, if y'all didn't see the last video an hour and a half ago, uh, I said I was going to do a remake video from a year ago from the basic series 127 Rey Mysterio. Now, five months ago, I had the exact same figure. It broke, and I replaced it. Which, I was originally supposed to replace this back in October or September, but I was going to wait until December. Now, we all know... Who's in the series of the likes of Keith Lee, Santos Escobar, which we did a review of him way back also a year ago, Shayna Baszler, and jo Joaquin Wilde. So, let's go ahead and take this out of the package and see what he looks like outside of the package. Like, again... Like I said, it's a remake video from May over a year ago. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, I mean, okay, guys. I'm sorry if I'm uh, mispronouncing my, my words. Because I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. So, yeah. Um, Here's the details. The green, white... The removable armbands, same thing, 
like the one from a year ago. But anyway, guys, this unboxing is going to get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, just got to move my camera a little bit because uh, sometimes it gets a little qu crooked. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, here is the Nobara plushie by Ban Presto. The same plushie that does is the uh, mid Siri plush from Demon Slayer. So, here she is. Um, Really cute, like the one I reviewed three months ago, which is Miss Siri. Really like what they did with the details. And yes, if y'all can tell, I got this from GameStop. Uh, I thought it was like going to be late, but I didn't even know it was at like delivered last week, which I thought. I it wasn't, but let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on. So here we go. Here's the tag, and this plushie is going to get a hundred out of a hundred, like the review. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, just letting you guys know. Yes, I already filmed uh, today's video for yesterday. Uh, which all I said was Happy Tuesday and talked about Peacemaker from DC. But yes, we are unboxing the Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Leonardo the Leader Figurine. So this is Series 1. You can get Leo, Rav, Donnie, Mikey, Splinter, Leatherhead, Superfly, Bebop, and Rock Steady. And you can also clip the little card too, which I am about think about doing after the video. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get Leo out of his package. And three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. So, Leonardo comes with the katanas, this little baby turtle, and this thing called a skew that spells S-K-E-W, I think. I haven't seen the movie yet, so let's look at the things he comes with and the figure itself. So, move that to the side. Here's this. I don't think you can pop these out. Again, I don't know. And here's the little cute baby turtle. Now let's get to the figure itself. Here's the figure itself. Um, yes, the sword or swords are hard to get off. But this review, I mean, unboxing, we got 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, yes, I know I did an unboxing video yesterday on the Leonardo figure from Mutant Mayhem. But, yes, check this out. So, this is the Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I found this yesterday. My mom showed me it. But she wanted to give it for me for Christmas. I was like, no way. I um think this used to belong to my sister, but she gave it to me. She actually got this for Christmas last year. Until, like, you know, she gave it to me now. Um, Pretty well detailed. Uh, yes, it's made by Great Eastern. Because of the feet have cardboard in the plushies which I think is pretty cool uh really nice well detailed it uh but this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred hope you guys like comment subscribe 